Arizona softball players from multiple decades descended upon McHale Center on Tuesday morning to honor Mike Candrea. Let's hear some stories. When I started here, I did a little bit of everything. And I remember our practices. We started every practice by picking up rocks on the field. We would line up like from, you know, on line to line and just like walk as a group. And like in your five foot path, you had to pick up as many rocks as you could. Tucson native Stacy Iverson was on that first team in 1986, which Kendra admits was not very good. And she says in terms of managing the old field at Giddings, Kendra wasn't very good. How's this story for trying to save a game from being rained out? He got a big can of gasoline and poured it on the, on the field and lit it on fire. The fire department came and uh, he melted home plate. He might not have been the best groundskeeper, but 2006 national champion pitcher Leslie Wolf says he knew the right motivation buttons to push with his players. There was a practice when it was not working out for us that day and he got so mad and he threw his fungo like into the stands and then we knew it was like, drop your gloves, we gotta run. You know, one of the things I said when I came here is I wanna make sure that we take care of everyone that takes care of us. And Candrea lived up to those words when the father of softball media coordinator Danny Martinez passed away. Lo and behold, not only him, but the entire team showed up at my dad's funeral um, after, um, after practice. They were all still in their practice gear. He ended practice early, and, and I, I'll never forget what that meant to me. Erica Barnes, not often you get to work for one of your former players. Barnes was with the Wildcats in Oklahoma City this past weekend, holding on to the secret that this would be Candrea's final trip to the World Series. You know, we were leaving Oklahoma City. Our bus was leaving the parking lot. People were waving to him. And, you know, Caitlin and I were just saying, man, how wonderful would it have been to just, for all these people to know and to celebrate it. But that's not him, because he wanted it to be about this team. The team, the girls. Because as Candrea reiterated many times, there is not a Hall of Fame career without the women who put on the U of A jersey, crossed over the chalk lines, played the games that led to eight national championships. We got you covered. I'm David Kelly, News 4, Tucson.